everybody, it's Honest John again. Uh, I love football. I played pickup games when I was a kid, but when I tried to play on my high school team, I found out the hard way that football is a big man's game. I got hit so hard, I saw stars, my shoes flew off, and I decided that I would go back to, uh, well, I'd better stick to basketball and baseball. But even for the big guys, football is dangerous. A lot of former football players live with chronic pain from injuries that they got while they were playing. And there is a lot of evidence that football players have a high rate of traumatic brain injuries. So the NFL has made some rules changes to try to decrease the risk of concussions. Players can be penalized if they use the helmet as a weapon or if they hit another player in the head. Players are being taught to, talk, to tackle with their shoulders and to target the ball carrier's body. That was the way it used to be. But as helmets got better, coaches started encouraging the players to use their helmet to hit other people with. But now that's being phased out of the game and that's a very good thing. And the, the rule changes are reasonable. They're trying to make the game safer. But I've noticed that all of the penalties are being called on the defense. Running backs routinely lower their, their head and drive their helmets into defensive players that are trying to tackle them. And nothing is called. If the NFL is really serious about making the game safer, they will instruct the referees to start calling penal penalties on running backs who do that. But the NFL has also changed the rules regarding roughing the passer in order to protect the quarterback. And it seems to me like they've gone too far. Now the quarterback is a very important to a football team. And an injury to him can derail a team's playoff hopes. And he is often standing still while defensive players are rushing at him as hard as they can. So the rules have been changed so that you can't make contact with the quarterback's head or pick him up and slam him to the ground or drive him to the ground maliciously using your full weight to try to injure him. All of which is fine. Those are good rules. But over the past three weeks, what we've seen is defensive players have been called for penalties simply for making a safe legal tackle on the quarterback. It seems like any hard contact on a quarterback results in a penalty. So the quarterback is basically playing a different game than anybody else. A hit that would be legal on any other player on the field is illegal on the quarterback. And it's gotten to the point where even the quarterbacks are saying, this isn't right, this is ridiculous. And you know when that happens, you know the referees are just going too far. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. And I want you to keep on doing that. Just not on YouTube. If you look down in the description box, you're going to see two new links there. One is to my Patreon page, the other one is to a site called Top Buzz. Now on Top Buzz, they're letting me monetize my video and, I, and they're not even ads on them. So I'd like you to get in the habit of watching my videos there. Or you can go to my Patreon page and if you want to become a supporter, that would be great. If you don't, you can still watch my videos there. But for me, YouTube is no longer worth bothering with. It's just a launching pad that I use to put my videos other places on the net. So I do want you to keep on watching my videos, but not on YouTube.